Hi, this is Dana with Designs by the Mind. And as I told you on one of my last videos, I wanted to work with you on putting squares together uniformly and making them look like it was something you bought out the store. In this particular video, what I want to show you is that these are 15 inch squares and I'm taking each square and I'm sewing it to the next square with a single crochet in the two in two loops the in two inside loops that meet I'm going to show you that right quick right now I'm crossing a corner I've got two together wrong sides together because I want the right side showing and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a single crochet and I'm going to take the two inside loops and what that means is I'm going to take the inside loop of this front square and the inside loop of this outside square so when I put them together the two loops that meet are the ones I'm going to go in. So I'm going to pick up this one and I'm going to pick up the back one. And then I'm going to do a single crochet. You can also do a slip stitch because these are all the same color yarn. If they were different color yarns, it wouldn't work. You could only use a single because it would look like it was bleeding if you did a single. A slip stitch and you can try it about five or six stitches to see what I'm talking about right now we're working on single so I'm going in the inside loop of the front panel the inside loop of the back panel and I'm doing a single crochet and what I do is I do about I'd say five or six of these and then I stop and I count my stitches and the reason I count my stitches is because when I get to the end of the row I don't want to have 10 extra stitches or 3 extra stitches more on one of the squares because then it will look bunched up. What I want to do is I want to ease the decrease getting rid of the extra stitches. So I'm going to count this right quick. I just did about 10 stitches and I'm stopping. So I'm going to count the front panel. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I got 39 to the end of this corner on the front panel. I'm going to count the back panel. These are stitches not worked yet. So I'm only at 38. Well, this one's only one stitch off. So I can only show you by because the front stitch has more I want to decrease this by one so what I'm going to do is take the front inside loop and I'm going to go into the last one I just did on the back panel one and that will decrease that by one meaning on the other side there's two stitches in this one because I'm decreasing this one because it had one more stitch say it had five or six stitches different. Say this front one had five. What I would have done, what I would have probably because only got thirty more to go, I would do every five stitches I would decrease by one. So let's just pretend I have five. So now I'm going to decrease again and I'm trying to get rid of this front panel has more stitches than the back one. So now I'm going to pick up this loop instead of going across to this one I'm going to go into the one I just got finished with on the back panel and that decreased this front again by another stitch okay I'm taking it out because I really don't need it but I'm just showing you as I go then I'm going to do five more stitches the regular way by picking up the inside loop of the front panel inside loop of the back panel and I do that about five more times and then I want to decrease again so I'm decreasing on my front panel 
So I'm going to pick up the inside loop on this one, but I'm going to go back into the one I just did on the back panel. Now I've decreased this one by another stitch. Okay? And it's the same. Reverse it on the back panel if you're trying to get rid of more stitches on the back panel. What this does is just eases the extra stitches into this row where it'll look nice and even. You won't see any bunching. And you can do that with any pattern. And um, this is going to be a baby blanket for a boy. And so I'll just hold it up. I'm not going to take much of your time on this one. But you can see. And as I get to my corners of the squares, I just cross over it and keep on going. And what it does is encase each square and it gives us a beautiful three-dimensional look. But very clean. The back side looks really good. Really nice. You always want your work to look really, really good. And uh, thank you for spending a few minutes with me. And uh, give me comments and let me know if my videos are working. Again, this is Dana with Design by the Now. And I also teach a class, and we're called Crochet with a Purpose, the Friendship Baptist Church here in Toledo, Ohio. Thanks for watching.